Okay, so you can see that I have um, opened three images of the same building from different angles in Photoshop. And I am turning the opacity down, playing around with the layer options to make the different layers overlapping so you can see through them, making them more translucent. I am now using the move tool, holding down shift, making each layer slightly bigger and uh, just maneuvering it slightly um, so it's quite clear that the uh, different images are just slightly not quite aligned even a little bit more when using your layer options make sure the overall image is not too dark uh, it needs to have a nice balance of contrast so going to the adjustment layers at the bottom of the layers options, I'm going to click on levels and uh, click on the, uh, make sure you move it to the top and click on the um, level section in the adjustment tab just there and just move the um, levels so you add a bit more contrast. After that you'll need to save your work, so go to File, go to Save As, create a new folder called Dev1. You'll, all, you'll have to save all your developments in separate folders because you're going to save your work at different steps. Call it 1. After you've done that, Go to your layer options, click on the three lines at the top and click on flatten image and I'll make all your layers into one layer. On your background layer, right click and create a duplicate layer. Go to filter, sharpen and Smart Sharpen. And what you want to do here is just move the amount up um, so it appears a little bit more sharp. You can experiment with some of the sliders, um, but just move it up so uh, everything has like a darker edge to it. And um, when you've done, click OK. So in this image here, I'm going to image adjustments and hue and saturation. And I'm just turning on the top layer, uh, turning the saturation up a little bit and the hue um, down by about um, four or five, um, just so it's a bit more red and blue to get kind of like that balance a little bit better um, on the top layer. Uh, once I've done that, click OK. Now it's roughly around about here that I'm quite happy to finish this 4A development. Now I'm, I'm blatantly getting the Victoria Sema style, so I'm just gonna go to File, go to Save As, and save this in that um, Dev1 folder, uh, but call it 1.2. This is so that um, if I need to change or edit things later on, um, depending on what feedback um, you get, you can do that later. After you flatten the image, duplicate the background layer. Go to your layer adjustments, go to levels, and just adjust levels to add more contrast. Remember to get a really nice balance of contrast when you're adjusting levels. Uh, so don't forget about those midtones. After you've done that, go back to image and go back to adjustments and hue and saturation and just add a little bit more um, saturation to the image if you think you need it. Maybe adjust the hue slightly to bring out the colors a little bit more, uh, get that right balance. You'll have to use your own artistic license uh, with this. Um, so it's handy to have a picture of uh, Stephanie Jung's work 
um, as you're doing this. Now I'm going to add a, a gradient tool um, to my image. So I've added a new layer. Uh, I've clicked on the gradient tool, which is where your bucket tool will be. And you want to have the uh, second um, symbol in, which is like a, a circle. Uh, and you're gonna wanna choose a background color. Now I'm gonna go for a green for this and a white for the foreground. And what you do is you start in the center and you click and drag upwards or to the side and you'll get a um, effect like this. Now it will require a little experimentation. I'm going to change the opacity uh, just to kind of um, make it a little bit more transparent. I'm going to put a mask layer on there and you, using a black and um, largish brush and turn the opacity quite um, low. I'm going to kind of rub out that center part uh, just to bring the, the buildings uh, through a little bit more. Once you've done that, go to your Layers window, click in the top right hand corner and flatten the image. Okay, go to the bottom of the window, uh, click on the Adjustment Layers and click on Levels again. And just adjust the le levels, um, adding a bit more contrast, changing it where you need to. Once you've done that, Click go to file, go to save as, and save your final refinement. Job done.